All these people. Well, you know, not every place can be as empty as the last one we've been to. What you're seeing right now behind me is or are the ruins of Pisac, I think it's called. That was the the top up there and if we turn around you can see this amazing view. It's just just lovely, just lovely. And uh, we're now heading down through the actual houses of the ruins. So when we arrived here, like a security guard or something like this came up to our car and like it looked like our car was the only like non-touristic car, like the non-bus and he was like knocking on our window and it was like a ticket, ticket and so we showed him our ticket, I don't know why, we were like 300 meters away from, from the site but uh, apparently they like to check tickets early. Alright, let's, uh, and again, we're up here, it was like 3,514 meters above sea level, which is uh, pretty impressive, and as well here, when we're walking, or hiking up, or even down the mountain, it's very exhausting. But the view is, uh, it's totally worth it. You know, having this view like this behind me, pretty nice. Let's have a walk through the, the ruins of this little village, I would maybe call it, or yeah, let's go. As always, great steps, great stairs. Someone tried to make a little tower successfully. to really mind my step. As you can see here, for anyone who has a vertigo, maybe not the best place. But other than that, pretty, pretty amazing. So let's see what we can find over here. I see the ruins. <laughs> Pretty scary if you look at it like this. So let's see. That's some uh, <laughs> good little pathway here. And also through here you can see the the walls that they built. I mean, they were good at building walls, you know. We have to agree with that. Now it's like <laughs> a lot of people down there. So, I uh, I lost my friend, not sure where he is. Let's go up here a bit. And this is the entrance, so I'm going back in a little bit. Let's maybe uh, walk over here and I'll show you something very specific. Let's look over there in the mountain. You can see, you can see holes. It looks like a uh, like a nest of a of wasps or bees or something. 
not entirely sure what those were for or how they came to be. Maybe if you if you know, you can tell me in the comments what that is exactly. So from up here you can get a pretty good view of some more of the farms that they had here. Like here, more rectangle ones. And on this side again, like a circle. So if you think back that they did that many hundred years ago, pretty, pretty impressive. And it's such a large scale as well. Man, I really love these stairs. <laughs> that was a sarcastic. It's a, it's such a pain to to walk here. But oh well, what can we do? I'm gonna show you a bit more footage in a few seconds of how this structure looks from down where the fields are. So like a bottom top view. We had a top bottom view now and we're gonna do the opposite in a few in a few seconds. While walking down I found some more ruins um, over there. Let me stop. You can see some farms again I would say and then all the way up there on the left you can see things that look like buildings but I'm not sure what uh, like what they were used for or maybe maybe it was like a where people were buried or something like this not entirely sure but it it could be that they were buried like inside the mountain or so now let's uh, <laughs> let's begin and find uh, my friend Nicola not sure where he is Seems like he came down a completely different way than I did. So after successfully finding my friend, I'm gonna now show you what uh, this structure looks from from underneath. It uh, it's this. We were all the way up there. I'm gonna tag that or like mark it. But yeah. Now we're also a bit closer to those farms, the circle farms that I, or half circle, let's say, that I was talking about. And, you know, you can see them, they're massive. So, I'm pretty sure they were able to plant a lot of uh, crops here, whatever they were planting back then. Potatoes, quinoa, maybe something like this. Imagine the view, like, while working here, how amazing it uh, must have been, but also to to get up here was a, a struggle. I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, without without a car, maybe on an, on a llama or something like this. Let's uh, show you the the farms from the other side, from where the entrance is. Now you can see behind the mountain before it was hidden some more terraces of farms. All the way in the back you can see some more ruins and out there you can see the ruins that we were on before. Pretty impressive what those people were able to do back then. How they brought those stones here or how they constructed all of those things up here. So yeah, it's probably not as impressive as maybe Machu Picchu, but I would still say uh, it's pretty worth it to come here to uh, Pisac. <laughs> Let's go to the very front of this terrace here. Oh yeah, here we can get a proper view of everything. So right here, some ruins and then the beautiful mountains and all the grass and all the farms. Another great mountain, and you can see the terraces, the terrace uh, farms, some more here, and then up then up there the ruins. I'm uh, I'm pretty amazed by, by this whole thing. I have to be careful not to fall down. 
I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, consider leaving a like. And, uh, you know, consider subscribing because it's free and you can always unsubscribe later. Alright, have a nice day and bye-bye. Just keep on doing what you do, do what you do.